I suffer a lot. I just want true peace and happiness. Is that a good enough motivation to pursue enlightenment? Hiya, Neil. I don't actually believe in something called enlightenment. Um, so... I'd just tell you about why I don't believe in, in enlightenment. Like enlightenment is an idea that arises for you. Like an idea of you getting to this special state. Really what you're asking for is the reduction of suffering. So you're actually asking for a loss program in order you, you want your system to stop producing so much discomfort in the chakra system. So what's currently happening to you, Anil, is that you're having distorted thoughts about reality and those thoughts are creating all types of feelings in your body. So um, you might have low self-esteem, you might have lack, you might feel like you can't do it, you might have stress, all these different thoughts about reality. And then it makes your chakra system glow in a certain way, so it feels uncomfortable. Um, and now you've got this idea of enlightenment, which is simply an idea of you getting to. And that's like the the never ending rain like the never ending search to get to the end of the rainbow. You're never going to get to a place called enlightenment because in this life there is nothing that's permanent. Everything changes. So you can't get to something called enlightenment because you and enlightenment is something that constantly moves. This world is like a kaleidoscope. Everything is tran constantly transforming from one thing to another. So the idea of you as a person getting to something solid in the future is an illusion. What I'd recommended to you if you're suffering a lot is looking at the chakra and looking at the body and looking at the thought system as to what it is that you're unconsciously thinking and believe about yourself and start there. You can work with someone or you can research about it on the internet. Um, you can go on retreats. There's all different types of things that you can do. And, um, and then as you begin to get more into this subject, you'll begin to question, who is it that does all of that? But in the beginning, when the suffering is really intense, you have to address the discomfort in the body and the discomfort in the mind and settle it to an extent and understand it. What it is your body saying, what is in disharmony. Otherwise, the seeking will be too intense to begin to really truly question who you are and who is the doer. You know, how can you see that thoughts and feelings and emotion come from no place if you're in agony about your current life choices? If you're hating your neighbor, if you're hating your past, if you're in resentment or greed or negativity or stress all the time, that has to be relaxed. And you relax that by just simply understanding what it is your body is saying and what it is your body truly wants. Thank you for your question, Anil.